guys, welcome to the channel. Um, slightly different thing we're going to do this year, or coming at the end of the year for next year as well, is uh, on every golf club we go and visit, we're going to do it as like a league table, see which is the best to which is the worst, which will go up somewhere like here. Um, so, the first one we're going to do today is Hartford Golf Club, as they say. Roll VT. Welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel and you want to subscribe, click on the subscribe button, which will be somewhere up there. I don't know where I put it. Um, today's video comes from sunny Hartford uh, in Cheshire, or Northwich, Cheshire. We last played here back in June this year in the heights of summer, uh, and the course was in immaculate condition. So, what I thought I'd do is I'll come and try it again in December after all the rain that we've had to uh, see how it's faring up uh, I've just played the first hole and uh, boggy in places but not many fairways quite dry um, and the greens in good condition so on to hole number two as you can see try to focus them up Um, the hole markers are out, show you where you are. Weren't here when I last played, but I believe they were coming. So we're going to go and play uh, par 3, 158 yards. I'll show you where the flag is. Bear with me. So 158 yards, and we are playing off normal tees as well, which is good. Um, so I better move it because I think there's people behind me. Oh, we're all right at the minute. So I'll pick this up after the second hole, and we'll talk again. Don't go away. Hey guys, here goes hole number two, and have a quick look at the greens, and I'll see if I can show you. I would actually say these greens are in superb condition. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but the uh, this is what I'm aiming for. This is what you guys are waiting for. If you can just see <laughs> the bumps, which is uh, quite a daunting shot, I suppose. So we're going to have a go at it. I'm going to leave you on, see what I can do. I could quite live with that from where I was. So we'll just put out and we want to hole number three. Or we could miss. Yes, so the greens are in excellent condition, which is what you want to pay for, even in the winter. Some places you want winter tea, winter greens, but if this is a winter green, this is superb. 
So that's definitely a good mark out of 10 for them. Right, I'm going to move on to the next hole and then we'll pick it up again. Don't go away. Now, I know you say you, uh, you want value for money when you're, uh, you're playing, but in some sands, sand in the winter is just horrible, but I mean this. I mean, that's what, you know, call a proper greenkeeper keeping hold of the stuff there. It's nicely raked, fresh sand. That's what you want, that. That's value for money. That's another good plus point for them uh, down here. For a bit of winter golf. So we're on hole number three, I think now, which is a par five. Again, fairways. Quite dry. Um, just checking the microphones on. Um, quite dry. The only mud you find really is where people congregate at the tees. Um, a few divvy marks here and there, but uh, nothing major. So, uh, so I'm just going to pot away now. And uh, we'll see how we get on. We'll pick it up. Hi right, guys, we made it to hole number something. I'm not too sure which one I'm on. Maybe five. Five? Yeah, hole number five. This is my probably my second favourite hole on the course. Um, really, because it's got the water hazard. And I'll just show you uh, what we've got for we tee off. So as you can see, you've got water on your left, uh, there's a bunker just in front of the green as well, so the left hand side. So really if you go to the right on here you're going to be alright. Um, another good thing about playing today is it's not raining, because, let's make sure the bike's on, sorry, um, because last time I was here it absolutely threw it down. So. We're going to leave you live, I think. We've got enough battery for us to put a new one in. So it's a 125 yards. Hundred and twenty-five yards to the flag. Which normally would be a probably a nine iron for me. But we'll see how we do. So Hey right, guys, won't be happy if I lose this ball in the river or in the little lake. <laughs> and I chickened out and didn't hit it hard enough. But never mind, it's on the green. Oops, hang on, I'm quit. It's on the green, which means no lost ball. Hey guys, so we've made it to hole number seven. Now this is my my favourite hole on the course. Uh, I'll just show you what it is on the uh, board. So it says one seven two off the yellows, um, which is probably where I'm stood now, but we are going off a winter map, it's only the second hole that has it, so there's only two holes so far that have had it, and I'll show you where we're going. So 
we are going downhill. 172. Uh, last time I birded this hole, but I can't see me doing that today. So um, we're just going to hit it and see what happens. Probably a. No idea what I'm going to hit, but we'll see. Right, catch you up on when we're down the bottom. Right, guys, so we're down on the green. Um, camera's not very really tight here, but I might. I'm going to show you where we've come from. We'll just turn around. So obviously we've come down the hill and you've got a pond to your left and a couple of bunkers protecting the green. So we've just got to pot out now and then we're on to uh, the last two holes. Hi right, guys, we've made it to hole number 9 or hole number 18, depending if you're playing 18 holes or not. Um, I mean, some places you go to, not much of a view when you, when you come into the clubhouse. Um, but I'll just show you what you see when you get to the green here. Obviously in the summer there'll be tables and chairs out there, which it was back in, in June. Um, so on the 8th and 9th hole, so bogginess probably probably the worst one, but once you get to the short grass it's okay. Again, green, superb. Um, another one we use, temporary map, but I think that's three out of nine, which is not bad really, considering. Um, and every green is a proper green. So I'm just going to uh, straighten you up a bit there, because you're a bit cock -eyed. There we go. Um, so I'm just going to do, put this one in, we're going to put all the stuff back, we need a brew. I'll give me thoughts and uh, stuff on the Hartford Golf Club here in winter. So, don't go away. Right guys, I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the video there of Hartford. Um, obviously we're going to start doing a point system um, of what I think the point they're worth out of ten. Five different things that the club offers, which makes you want to go back and play, or even if you're local, maybe join. So the first one we're going to do is, is price. So price. Uh, the price was $9.99 for as many holes as you can do. Um, obviously it's a technically it's a nine hole course. Obviously you play it twice for 18. Uh, and that $9.99 means you can play as many holes as you can play. Which again is a very, very good price. Um, you know, it's not many courses around here that let you do that. So, for nine ninety nine, price wise, they're gonna get a ten. So price ten. Um, course condition. I think we'll do two two on this one. We're gonna do greens. So the greens were, I thought, in immaculate condition. Few. Um, Marks on them, but obviously people aren't bothered with the pitch repairer, but you're gonna get that amount when you play. Um, for the amount of rain that we've had in the UK, uh, again, a ten, superb, absolutely superb. Every every green was true. So greens, ten. Fairways. Most of the fairways were were dry. Well, not dry, but. There was, no, there was no mud, there was no squishy or squashing, uh, except for the, the ninth, I think it was. But once you got onto the shore stuff, um, it was okay. Maybe the grass maybe a bit long in places. Um, but besides that, I couldn't fault it for winter. I mean, I had my normal moulded boot, um, shoes on, so I didn't feel like I was slipping. So I'm going to give the, the greens, uh, sorry, the fairways a seven, because... I couldn't fault them in this winter. Um, so yeah, so that's a seven, seven for fairways. Um, practice facilities. If you want to practice for you have a warm, you want to warm up before 
you start playing, uh, there's a putting green, which is good. Uh, I mean, some places will have um, nets where you can hit the ball. There, there is a driving range as well. Uh, I think for 50 balls, it's four pound. I could be wrong on that, but I'm going for 50 back, 50 balls for four quid, which again is is not bad if you want to have a quick warm up. Um, so practice facilities, I'll give that a ten. You know, it's, it's, what, it's what you need. You don't have to, but if you want to, you can, and the facilities are there. And the final one we're going to go for is uh, the 19th hole. Um, this time I've had a, I had a Coke and a bottle of chips. And these are the chips I got. The 19th hole, um, very modern, another 10. So that was 47 points for Hartford Golf Club. Can't fault it. And all the staff very friendly as well. Which, you know, if you want to count that in as the 19th hole. From the pro shop to the bar staff. Very, very friendly. Uh, help you out wherever you can. You know, so it was good, yeah. So, enjoyed Hartford. If uh, you fancy around there, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, that's it for Hartford and that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll speak to you all soon. Don't forget if you want to you can subscribe to the channel. Thank you to the 82 subscribers we've got going into the new year and I'll speak to you soon on the next one.